Hey guys, it's Miss Harris back with another math game. This time we're doing snapshots, the addition version. So as a reminder, snapshots is about showing a group of objects to a child quickly and then covering them up like a quick snapshot or picture. The hope is that the child will be able to recognize how many objects they were shown without having to physically count out the objects. So we want them to just see the grouping and identify the quantity as quickly as they can without individually counting out the objects. So for this game, you are going to need materials. You this is a really basic game, you don't need that much. Basically, you need any objects that you can count. I'm gonna recommend something that's fairly small um, because you're gonna to wanna to be able to cover it up. So um, you could use Legos, you could use you know, pieces of bow tie pasta. Um, you could use dog treats, which is what I'm going to use. Um, you could use cookies. You could use small pieces of paper that you've cut. Anything small that you can quickly manipulate with your hands. Um, you're also going to need something to cover up your grouping. So I just have a piece of cardboard from a cereal box um, because you're going to arrange your grouping. You're going to block the grouping from your child. So for example, if my child was sitting in front of me, um, I could block it like this and put, put my grouping like this, blocking their view, and then I would show them quickly, and then I would cover it up, and then I would ask them how many. So we're going to do that, but we're going to do it with addition. So we're going to have two distinct groups, hoping that they can quickly count in their minds in their heads how many objects there are in total. Okay, so I'm gonna show you first how you would play the game um, with your child, um, and then I'm gonna do some practice rounds so you could see how the lesson would flow. So, if your child was sitting, if you were sitting here and your child was sitting across from you, you would wanna block their view. So you wanna put your cardboard in the way, whichever way, maybe draw a picture, um, of a camera or something fun on the back, then you're going to want to make your grouping. So I'm going to do a simple one at first. Remember, this is addition, so we want the groups to be separate from each other, visually separated, so leave some space. So we have two objects over here and one object over here. Then we would say, see how many you can see. Or you could say, how many do you see? Or you could say snapshot, whatever keyword you want to use so that the child knows that you're about to start. You could say whatever it is you want to say. You could just say go. You go like this. Give them about three to five seconds. And then cover it back up so they can't see. Then you want to ask your child, how many were there? How many bones were there? How many Legos? Whatever object it was. Um, and you want to get them to say however many there were in total. So for example, we would want them to say three. Now if they say two, you want to you know, show them the objects and say, yeah, I see that there's two on this side, but there's another one over here, so how many are there all together? You want to remind them that they want to count all of the objects in front of them, not just one group. So we'll try that again. So for example, I have four bones here. I would have set it up I'm sorry, the lighting is so bright. The sun is setting. Um, so I have, you know, two objects on this side, two objects on this side. And we would show the child, give them a couple of seconds, cover it back up, and ask them, how many bones did you see? And again, the goal is to get them to say, I saw four. There were four. If you want, you could also incorporate... Um, the written equation into this game. I would suggest playing the game without writing first for a few um, a few days or if, you, if you're alternating doing math activities and literacy activities. I would say practice the game a couple of times before you start to incorporate the writing. But in this example, obviously we have two on this side and two on this side. So we saw two groups of two. So you want to introduce this equation. So two plus two equals... We would ask them how many, they would tell us four. Ideally, you'd want them to write the numeral um, that they solved for so that they can get the writing practice and the number practice. 
So again, if this was um, you and your child, you would cover it up, show them quickly. How many objects did you see? Hopefully that they would say six. Again, if they say three, you want to give them another chance to look at the whole grouping. Give them a few seconds. Not too long because you don't want them to start pointing out the objects or counting them out loud. Um, so just give them a few seconds. Let them look. Cover it up. Ask them how many they saw. And if they get the right answer, that is awesome. Give them a lot of positive reinforcement because this is a, you know, it's a new skill. And it's an important skill because we want to be able to quickly identify groups of numbers so that when we're doing more complex math, they can do it quickly without having to count with their fingers, which would take a lot of time. So once they start adding larger quantities, we don't necessarily want them going one, two, three, four, five, six, because that's going to take quite a long time. We want the kids to start recognizing groups quickly, automatically, um, and with confidence. So I hope that you um, enjoy playing this game. I would love to see any pictures or videos that you take while playing it. If you have any questions, you can email me or email your teacher. Um, this is a game that we play during small groups um, fairly often, so we can give you any ideas of how to make it more exciting. So let me know what you guys do. I hope you had a great weekend. It was so sunny and warm. It's clearly still so sunny because there's so many shadows in my video, um, but I wanted to get it out for you guys. So I hope you had a great day, and I hope that you enjoy the game.